Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about finding the right MOS for you, going to MOS school, and what exactly I do for the Marine Corps. When you're choosing an MOS, you want to make sure that you're doing something that A, you're going to love doing, and B, can use whenever you get out of the military, if you get out of the military. For the most part, you can find just about any job that you can do in the civilian sector in the military. I mean, it could be any like firefighting, police officers, weathermen, uh, public affairs, which I'll talk about soon. The jobs are endless, so don't go into the recruiting office thinking, all I want to do is be a grunt. The biggest thing I want to say is don't leave for boot camp until you have secured your MOS in your contract. Your recruiter might ask you to leave earlier for boot camp or pressure you towards a job that you really don't know anything about. So even though the first thing that comes to mind is yes, I need to leave for boot camp and get it done sooner, you gotta remember that you still have four or five years ahead of you of doing that job. So say you want to do something like military police and he signs you up for Motor T, you're gonna have a completely different job that you didn't even want in the first place and you probably won't even like because it doesn't suit you. So don't leave for boot camp until you've secured your job. I get this question all the time, what is it that I do in the Marine Corps? Now, a lot of you know me from the Marines YouTube, I'm on the Corps Report, and these little videos that you'll see on YouTube from time to time. I am a 4341 combat correspondent. It's known as public affairs, but it's soon going to be changed under the name of mass communicator. So the people in my MOS generally write stories, shoot video, make products for news stations, things like that. But I also have the sub MOS of broadcaster, which falls under public affairs also. So that's why you see me on camera all the time. So now all of you know what MOS I am. You know not to go to boot camp until you have your correct MOS that you want to do. Now what comes after boot camp and marine combat training? Well, next comes MOS school. Now this is where you learn your bread and butter for what you're going to be doing for the next couple of years in the Marine Corps. First things first, if you're coming out of MCT and you're about to go to MOS school, remember you're never alone in the military. So there's probably going to be four or five other guys on the same flight as you or bus as you and you know who they are they've all got high end tights and dog tags and they're all feeling just as nervous as you are about going to this new school make sure you don't spend a fortune on getting a taxi cab to get from the airport to base if you can carpool with a bunch of other guys in or try to contact your MOS school directly and ask hey is there a better way to get on base maybe a cheaper taxi cab service or could you send somebody out to pick us up? Don't hesitate to call and ask them that. Because nine times out of ten they'll help you out and they'll send somebody for you. If you do happen to take a taxi onto base and you have no idea where you're going, don't freak out. You can ask the gate guard for directions. People have been in this position a million times before and every base is the same. They're all just as confusing and just as scary as the last one. So you're not going to know your way around probably for at least one or two weeks. Make sure that you have your alphas handy, preferably probably wearing them when you go to the schoolhouse to check in. And check in is not anything crazy where you march on up there or anything. It's just, hey, I'm here. They might inspect you real quick. Nine times out of ten, they probably won't even look at you. And uh, they'll say, okay, drop your bags upstairs, change over into camis, and get downstairs. Now, upon arriving at your MOS school, you're going to be extremely intimidated. And you are straight out of Marine combat training. And there's going to be Lance Corporals and Private First Classes at your school. And they are just going to think that they run the place, okay? So don't be intimidated by these Lance Corporals thinking that, oh man, I'm going to get eaten alive here. Like, don't worry, it's all... It's that schoolhouse mentality where these guys think they're the bomb. And you'll think that too whenever you're there for a couple of months. You're going to be like, oh, look at these new guys. Don't let them scare you. Which brings me to my next point is surround yourself with friends that are good role models. Find things to occupy yourself, especially on the weekends. Uh, but try not to spend too much money. So you can do things on base. Uh, I know a popular thing to do is everyone likes to go to the mall and blow their entire paycheck. There's a free gym right there on every base and the Marine Corps does one thing right, it's make good gyms. So you can spend some of the time lifting weights in the evenings, especially on the weekends, you have all day long. Find something constructive to spend your time on and your money. Don't go out and get motivated tattoos or 
blow all your money at Buffalo Wild Wings on Saturday. Just take it easy. And again, I want to make sure that you do work out because I know coming off of MCT, you have all that MRE trash in your stomach and you're looking a little bit pudgy because those little breads with the Cheez-Its look really good and the generic Pop-Tarts and if you get the Sloppy Joe, it's got the brownie inside and you trade Skittles for $10 and then the fat kid buys them. So make sure that you lift weights and you run and you stay in shape. So I want to recap everything we just talked about real quick about MOS school. Try to carpool with the taxis. Try to get a point of contact that you can call so they can come pick you up and you don't have to spend money. Don't freak out. Realize that the base is going to be confusing. Don't be afraid to ask for directions. When you get there, have your alphas on hand. And don't let the Lance Corporals and PFCs there intimidate you thinking that they run the place because they don't. And don't become one of those guys that once you're there for two or three months, you're like, look at the new guy. Yeah, what a boo. And remember to spend your time doing something constructive and don't forget to work out and burn that MRE fat.